In this week's video, we're going to explore the idea of how much a logo should cost. We're going to explore why this logo costs $35 compared to this one, which cost $500,000. So stay tuned to find out more. It's 1971 and Portland State University student Carolyn Davidson is about to design one of the most famous logos in the world. I was sitting in the hall at Portland State drawing perspective. Phil Knight happened to walk by when I happened to mention that I couldn't afford to take oil painting. And he said that if I had liked the job, he'd pay me so much an hour to letter some signs. And that's really how I met Phil and then it started from there. The brand was named after the goddess of victory. The brief was simple, make the logo feel like movement. After spending over 17 hours creating numerous design iterations, the Nike swoosh was born. A lot of the designs were, would start with one design and then maybe six or seven modifications to that to see if it would work. You know? so I guess there weren't hundreds, but it just felt like it at the time. But the design wasn't a slam dunk when presented. Under pressure from his shoebox manufacturer, Nike founder Phil Knight reportedly chose the design but said, I don't love it, but maybe it'll grow on me. Caroline continued to work for Nike on design work. Finally, in 1983, she was presented today with a series of gifts, a Nike ring with her own trademark on it, the swoosh. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. And uh, a stock certificate for probably $150. While the text has been tweaked over the years, the swoosh has remained the same. Her logo design has helped Nike sell more clothing and sports equipment than any other company in the world. With well-known sports stars such as Michael Jordan, Rafa Nadal, Alison and Felix and Naomi Osaka, Tiger Woods, Ronaldo and LeBron James all wearing the swoosh. Fast forward to 2007 and a new logo is being launched for the London 2012 Olympic Games. The unconventional logo stood apart from previous games logos. Designed by world famous brand agency Wolf Hollins, the logo was met with a host of bad publicity, many complaining about the price tag of it being over $500,000. The design was likened to everything from a broken swastika to Lisa Simpson to secretly spelling out the word Zion. Seb Co, head of the London 2012 Olympic bid said at the time, We don't do bland. This is not a bland city. We're not, we weren't going to come to you with a, a, a dull or dry corporate logo that will appear on a polo shirt and we're all gardening in it in a year's time. This is something that's got to live. And while Wolf Ollins were prepared for the backlash, they didn't quite appreciate the ferocity of it. They commented at the time, it is unconventionally bold, deliberately spirited, and unexpectedly dissonant, echoing London's qualities of a modern edgy city. They spoke about the logo not being just a logo, but it being a brand system, which would make sense in 2012. And this brand system is the key to the idea of its worth, because it wasn't just a logo that had been designed, and in 2012, we saw that. For us living in the UK at the time, the logo and brand system was everywhere. It changed the game forever when it came to Olympic branding. Managing to coalesce 10,000 athletes, 300 events, over 36 sports, together as one. So was one logo worth $35 and the other $500,000? Well, really, it isn't that easy to answer. We can't separate the logo from the rest of the brand system. Think of the logo as the tip of the spear, the most refined shorthand for a company, service, product, or even festival brand. It's the leader and one that we get inspiration from. Have a look at how the logo was applied across all of London 2012. It's all cohesive and thought out. It's all part of the same family and you can see the work in the $500,000. It's just as much about working on how the brand and London can be presented through all media channels, whether that's basketball or lane numbers or tickets or interviews or running or rowing. London was everywhere. It's also clearly part of the same festival and the same brand system. So is a logo worth $35 or $35 million? Well, in simple terms, a logo isn't, but when it's brought to life through a brand system that can help Nike become a hundred and forty two billion dollars or when it can represent a country and city to billions of eyes through TV and other media and can welcome thousands of athletes and hundreds of countries during a festival of sport then perhaps it might just be but what do you think what is a brand worth do let us know in the comments thank you for joining us today don't forget to like and share 
do consider subscribing. We post videos nearly every week about design, design thinking, brand, and digital. Until next time, stay curious and see you in the next one.